Good morning guys, my name is Vihan Fernando from Truck Camper Lifestyle and today we are en route to Riding Mountain National Park. It is I think the only national park in Manitoba. It is pretty beautiful and there's a lot of places to see. It's currently around 10 degrees Celsius. It's a pretty cold day and it's pretty cloudy or smoky. Anyways, let's get going. So I just spotted a beaver while driving. That was so amazing. Uh, this whole place is covered in fog. Um, you can barely see the road up there. It's so beautiful. It's so exciting. Um, this is also the reason that I can't travel with people because I stop everywhere. Anyways, let's keep going. Okay, so we are at the entrance to the park. Just had to get a pass to get in. All national parks you have to pay to get in. This is what the entrance looks like. Okay, so we are in Riding Mountain National Park. It's nine dollars per day per person. A permit is valid till 1 p.m. the next day. So if you are staying till like noon the next day or like a weekend, a well, one-day pass is good enough. Okay, we came down Lake Audi Trail and we are entering Riding Mountain National Park right here. I'm gonna first check out the Lake Audi campground, Lake Audi District Station, uh, just to see if there are camping spots so that I can secure one. It's a first come, first serve basis there. And after that, we'll go to the bison enclosure, see some bisons. Okay, so we are at the Lake Audi Dam here. It's on the way to the campground, so I decided to stop. Let's go check it out. Okay, so after a good amount of walking around, I found how to self register. As you come to the Lake Audi campground, you'll see this kiosk here. You can find self registration envelopes here. It's 
1750 a day. And you basically put the money in here with the envelope. Okay, so I found a sweet little camp spot right by the water here. Uh, I'm gonna get some breakfast. Well, it's almost noon now. Actually, it's all just 10 o'clock. Uh, eat some breakfast and then go see the bison enclosure and explore the park. But check out this side, it's sweet. So, I knew there might be something I forgot. All my cutleries in the dishwasher back home. I have to figure out how I'm going to eat noodles. So, I had to eat the noodles Sri Lankan style with my hand, which was a disaster. Anyways, that's done. Uh, I'm going to head towards the bison enclosure. I'm going to quickly add down the tires a little bit because mostly I'll be on gravel roads. All right, so I'm headed to the bison enclosure now. Um, usually they are very active during dawn and a few hours before sunset. Uh, that's why I was trying to come here for sunrise, but that didn't quite work out as planned. Um, anyways, let's, uh, let's go and see. Hopefully they are close by where we can see them. Otherwise, we'll come back in the evening uh, and try again. So I believe this is the enclosed area for the bison uh, both the openings for the gate has cattle guards so yeah. so most of the herd is actually here there's a few there there's some right next to me here too That was amazing. 
this is the first time that I've seen bison up that close. Um, the last, I think, three, two years ago I came here, they were pretty far away. Like, this was pure luck. Uh, because bison are usually active towards the evening and the morning. It's 12 noon right now, so this was like pure luck that I ran into them. After the amazing encounter with the bisons, I kept on driving down Lake Audi Trail and got a glimpse of Clear Lake from an area which is less known to people, so it wasn't very crowded. After that, I headed towards the town area to do some shopping and then headed back to the camp. Okay, so I went to Deep Bay, there was no parking, the vehicles were parked all over the road. Um, I mean, I get it, Vasagaming, Vasagaming uh, campground has around 800 sites, all of which are full. Um, and I went to the main beach of Clear Lake that was also full. Uh, it was fully packed, I just managed to find parking, went to the grocery store to get some utensils and s'mores and a few things. Um, I don't do well in crowds, so I left there. I'm heading, headed back to the campsite. At this point of the trip, I was barely on two hours of sleep as I had worked till late on Friday and then I left at 4 a.m. on Saturday. So once I got to the campsite, I got a quick nap and then I headed back out in the evening when the sun was down and the weather was a bit cooler in the hope that some of the wildlife may come out. And I got lucky. So I've circled multiple times between the Lake Cody Dam and the bison enclosure. Uh, I've had no luck with photos. I did uh, encounter two bears. One was a cub that I barely saw. The second one crossed right in front of me, but by the time I stopped the vehicle, it was gone. I did get some pictures of its back. Um, I might head back to the camp now, just because I'm down to less than a quarter tank of gas. Hey, my curiosity got the better of me and I drove again. Despite not having gas, I found poison. I saw a shit ton of bison. Got bitten by another million mosquitoes, but I think I got a few shots that are uh, good. Uh, I'll have to check once I get home. But anyway, let's get back to camp. I'm getting hungry. And yeah, I want to eat and watch the sunset and live in peace. So the GoPro went crazy trying to take a time lapse of the sunset. I think it captured some of it, but it's still setting. Anyways, um, I have the barbecue going. A fire going. I bought s'mores, but it's just a biscuit. 
I thought it was more since not the wafers. I should have seen that. Okay, so this is the menu for today. Check out my weave. It's amazing. Okay guys, so it's been a very long day. Uh, we got, I think I got a, at least a few decent photos. Uh, and I have to wake up super early tomorrow. So I'm going to get some sleep. I'll see you all in the morning. So that's a wrap for today's video everyone. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and see you on my next video. Until next time, just keep exploring.